uh, dear students today we are going to discuss about the implementation of e i g r p it's enhanced interior uh, gateway routing protocol configuration first i am going to place the pc today i am going to use a uh, six a different pc to implement enhanced interior gateway routing protocol configuration then i am going to use that is three switches to connect with six pcs today i will choose a pt switch to connect with six pcs and we have to use a three routers and for ea grp we have to use pt router its support for serial connection when you need to configure uh, that is a serial port we have to use the pt router to establish our ea grp configuration to connect the pc with switch i am using copper straight line through so we have discussed lot of videos how to configure or how to use the cables to connect with the components just you click on that icon and you have to choose fast ethernet a zero and in switch we have to use fast ethernet 0/1 so whatever the port is available we can use that number to connect with each icon next we have to connect the switch with router the same copper straight line through just you click on that the switch and select fast ethernet 0/0 so whatever the port is available you can use that port number there is no restriction we have to use either fast ethernet 0/0 or 0/1 just whatever that the available numbers you can choose that one and next to one here we have to connect with the routers today i am using serial dce it means it's a serial data communication equipment just you click on that router and you select the serial number either 2 by 0 or 3 by 0 so whatever the number is available just you select that number and you connect with the routers so the next step before we configure that the connection just i am going to type what kind of the ip address we are going to set for each pc router and get clear information what are the things we are going to do for our exercise then we will do one by one so for the the first lan connection i have used 192.168.2.2 and three series for lan connection 2 and four series for lan connection 3 so it's a start from 2.2 2.3 and 3.2 3.3 4.2 4.3 so here for router 0 i am going to use that is 2.1 192.168.2.1 the continuation of the number i have used to for pc0 and pc1 the same way we have to use for the remaining routers okay so now just to what kind of the ip address we are going to set for the pc as well as the router i have mentioned here the next step as you know that how to set that ip address how to set the default gateway address subnet mask everything you know already now for this ea grp we have to use a few more steps to configure that uh, the routing protocol configuration here we have to know that what kind of the serial connection we have connected with two different routers so for router 0 it's a serial port number is 2 by 0 that is 2 slash 0 and for router 1 it shows that as e 3 slash 0 so just for our reference we are mentioning that names 
it's not required we have to always use such kind of labels for your diagram so once you are doing that the configuration you may get confused about so where we have to configure or where we have to give that ip address so that's the reason i am mentioning the the serial number which one we have chosen for that the router so for router 0 it's 2 slash 0 for router 1 3 slash 0 again from router 1 to router 2 it's 2 slash 0 and for router 2 it's a 3 slash 0 so the next step we have to give the network address for each router so it's a start from 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and here for router 1 we have to use two different set of network address so the reason is when we connect with router 0 to router 1 that's it's a one series the next one router 1 to router 2 we have to use that the separate network connection so that's why for router 1 alone we are using two different network address so already we have used the default uh, gateway address and apart from this we have to use uh, that is network address for router 0 router 1 as i said we have to use two different network address that one is a 10 series and second one is the 11 series now we have to set that ip address for each pc for pc 0 it start from 192.168.2.2 and the subnet mask as we know that it belongs to class c ip address and the default gateway address is 192.168.2.1 okay now as we already have clear idea about uh, so the default gateway address it's the same for the entire lan connection so that is uh, 192.168.2.1 it's common for both pc0 as well as pc1 so the ip address alone it's changing okay now that first part is over the same way we have to do for lan connection 2 and 3 now we are going to use the the ip address for pc2 it's 192.168.3.2 the default gateway address is 192.168.3.1 and for pc3 it's a start from 192.168.3.3 and the default gateway address is 192.168.3.1 it's it's not Uh, any kind of the constraint uh, whether we have to use the same kind of ip address for your xis it's not mean that so whatever the ip address you are choosing you can use it on you can implement your that is eigrp configuration just to for the reference i am using that the class c ip address okay so here we have almost completed that ip address uh, this is the last one that is the ip address for pc5 okay so now we have set that ip address for all six pcs the next step we have to set that ip address for the router so first i am going to set that ip address for router 0 just to go to config and select fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so even if you have any doubts whether it's fast ethernet 0 slash 0 or 1 slash 0 just you make sure that what's the connection you have completed or you have done in the previous step so make sure that and you choose that uh, the particular option here all the fast ethernet uh, the port number it's 0/0 slash i have used whatever the default gateway address we have mentioned in that pc that the address we have to mention for fast ethernet 0/0 slash and the next step we have to set the network address so here serial 2/0 slash serial 3/0 slash there are two set of that the serial port is available but here we have used 2/0 slash so that's why i have used the 10.10.10.1 the number used for 
network address so the next step to set that ip address for that is default gateway address for router 1 as you know that it's 192.168.3.1 and always you have to make sure that whether the port status is on now we have to set the two different set of network address for router 1 one is that is the to connect the router 1 and uh, sorry router 0 and router 1 that is it's a 3 slash 0 so here serial 3 slash 0 we have to set that network address is 10.10.10.2 so that's the address we have to set for that is router 1 ip address or router 1 network address so the next step we have to set that another network address it's connected with router 1 and router 2 here serial 2/0 it's a start from 11.11.11.1 that number is serial 2/0 so this is the simple step we have to make sure that whether you are doing that work or whether you are doing that the configuration properly or not so here router 0 and router 2 it's only one network address we are using for router 1 alone it's connect with both router 0 and router 2 that's why we have used two set of the network address here it's a serial 3/0 whatever that ip address we have used in that label just i am going to use the same ip address for router 2 okay now we have completed all the ip address settings so still it one uh, that is the label it shows that warning and now it's everything green color okay when i try to transfer that message from pc0 to pc1 it's a successful again pc0 to router 0 is successful when i try to send the message from pc0 to router 1 it's failed and i am going to try one more message from pc0 to pc4 still it shows the message is failed so the reason is even we have said that ip address we have said that network address router address but we have to do few more steps to implement eigrp configuration so for that just you go to you click on the router go to cli command and you type router eigrp 10 so that number is the autonomous number it's used to identify the neighboring nodes or neighboring autonomous the network and the next command we have to use the network address that is network address for router 0 is it's a 10.0.0.0 so we have used the network address is 10.10.10.1 but the number starting network address is 10.0.0.0 and the network address is it's 192.168.2.0 next is command you have to use the exit and you have to exit from that the router okay and the same thing we have to do it for router 1 and 2 so just you click on that router 1 go to cli command and type router eigrp 10 so that the autonomous number should be same for all the routers and the network address now we have to use two network address in that uh, cli command so here it's 10.0.0.0 that is one command and the next command we have to use for uh, that is 11.0.0.0 to connect the router 1 and router 2 so that's the reason here router 1 alone we are using two different the network address and the next to one what's the, the ip address we are going to connect with that network it's 192.168.3.0 so even we are starting from 3.1 that the starting ip address is, is 3.0 and now the process is over and the next to one for router 2 here you type that is router eigrp 
the autonomous number is a 10 and the next one network address is it's the 11.0.0.0 so that's the the address we are going to connect with router 2 so the meaning of this network address is when you connect the the network we have to give that the starting network address for each router so that's the reason when we send that message from router that is PC0 to PC4 if it is not connected it means that that network is not connected so that's the reason in the previous step we are not supposed to send the message from a different uh, lands now we will check how that connection is established whether whether we can able to send that message or not the first I have verified that PC0 to router 1 it's a successful now I am going to use the different the PC so sometimes it takes some time to configure that uh, the background process just you try few more uh, steps and you will get the, the message it will be successful so till PC02 router 1 the connection is clear and we can able to transfer the data and that the message it's also get success but the same kind of message when I try to connect with PC02 either PC2 or PC4 it shows that the message is failed just it for background process I am giving some time to configure and to get the message to be successful okay now I am going to try for that another message it's a start from PC0 to PC2 we will check whether this the message it's get successful or not even the same kind of information you can verify using ping command so already we have discussed about how to use the ping command just you type a ping and the IP address and you will get that the response from the different uh, the network right the same way you can check through that message now the message it's going it's come to PC2 and the acknowledgement it's sent back to that uh, the PC0 so once if the PC0 receives the acknowledgement successfully immediately that the status of our message it changed as successful okay so in the previous stage even it shows that the message is uh, failed but so once the background process it's set and everything it's perfect you will get that the message status is successful just I will try whether we can able to set that ping command just I am going to give that ping 192.168.2.2 but it shows a long time to get the response so that's why I am uh, stop this video now but uh, definitely you will get the response from that whatever that PC you are connected with that network so I hope this information is helpful to you all Still, if you have any queries, you can post it in that command window. So, this video, you can do it in a different IP address to configure EIGRP. Thank you. Thanks for watching.